sukkah is ta'as eloch. You should make sukkahs for you. The word ta'as and the medrash tells us that ta'as means that you will have sukkahs made for you. What does it mean? It's like a haftacha. You will have sukkahs. So the Grah tells us that it's a haftacha, that if you keep sukkahs this year, you will have arichas yomim and you will be able to keep sukkahs next year too. When the Malachim came to Avram Avinu to tell him that he was going to have a son, he said, Kain ta'as that you will have a son. It was a haftacha. So too, Chag HaSukkah sukkah is ta'as eloch. It's a haftacha. Barichas yomim. The Vilna Goyen tells us that there are two mitzvahs that our entire body are, is consumed by. We do the mitzvah with our entire body. There is the mitzvah of sukkah, our entire body goes into the sukkah, and the mitzvah of Yishev Eretz Yisrael. Our whole body is here. Some people will ask, why not mikvah? Because maybe when you only mikhaim mikvah when you come out of the mikvah. But uh, these, are the, these are the two mitzvahs that the Gura picked. Why, why these two mitzvahs? You could say maybe because it's only two mitzvahs. But what's the connection between the mitzvah of Yishev Eretz Yisrael and the mitzvah Yeshiva The Sefer Tirish Vietzari says that the connection is that the mitzvah of Yeshiva Yitzchak, the Torah says, Laman Yibri Mechem Vimei Benechem Al Ho Adoma. That being in Eretz Yisrael is a school of Arichas Yomim. So too, sitting in a sukkah is a school of Arichas Yomim. We always decorate our sukkah, we make it look beautiful, but don't forget that it's, it's, a, it's the mitzvah that's consuming our entire body. There's a story about a guy who came to Border Patrol. He pulled up in a brand new Mercedes and they look through to see if there's any uh, he's smuggling anything. And they see in the back there are buckets and buckets of dirt. They're like, this is really suspicious. He says, check it out. Why are you carrying dirt across the border? He says, I'm building a new uh, house and the dirt in this country is cheaper than in mine. So I, I carry, uh, I bring over some dirt for my foundation. That's really strange. They go through his trunk, they sit through all the dirt, and there's nothing in there, not a diamond, not a penny. They let him go. A week later, he's back in his brand new Mercedes, and it's full of dirt, and they say, Nachamol, Nachamol. So they go through the dirt, nothing there. He does this 10, 15, 20 times, and finally, uh, by then they're used to it. They know that there's nothing in the dirt, it's just dirt for his home. Interesting guy, fine. The kids are... A few months later, by the time he's done with this ordeal, he pulls up in his Mercedes and it's empty. He said, no more dirt. He said, no more dirt. I finished my house. The government official, the border patrol guy, says, you got to tell me. What's the deal with this dirt? You're actually carrying dirt? Dirt costs nothing. He says, uh, I'll tell you if, you if you promise not to tell, tell, tell me to the government. Don't tattle on me. Deal. He says, I'm not smuggling dirt. I'm smuggling Mercedes. I bought a brand new car every time. Don't lose focus on the Mercedes that we're driving. Our sukkah is our Mercedes. We have a brand new, we have, we have a brand new Mercedes. We have a, we have a sukkah. We have a, a school of Arichas Yomim. Our sukkah is Kilo. We're sitting in Eretz Yisrael. We're behind the mitzvah. We should be Eretz Yisrael. Eretz Yisrael is going to come back to Eretz Yisrael. Yes, we outside that can go to the, the base of Mikdash. We knock our kavanas. Shabbos, good young